In this video, you're gonna witness African tribes eating American candy. She gives it a try for the first time. Oh, she's going for another bite. That's a good sign. Right here, we have Sour Patch Kids, strawberry flavored. Please give it a try. I like, she popped it like a vitamin. Right here is the chief. He takes a little bit and then going right back to his rib meat. Hello, would you like to try some red vines? Can you come over here? You have to translate. Last time we made this video, we were in Zimbabwe and Tanzania. We went to three different tribes and they all tried a huge variety of American candies and a lot of them, they didn't like. You like it? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, now I'm back for round two. We are in the country of Ethiopia. Ethiopia is full of dynamic, diverse tribes and people. And I've brought with me from the USA a diverse amount of candy for people to try. We're gonna see if they like it, if they hate it, or if they're just completely confused by it. Let's get started. Today we're hanging out with the Dorze tribe in the highlands here in Ethiopia. There are about 30,000 Dorze people and they are famous for their housing structures. The Dorze people's architectural structures bear a striking resemblance to giant elephant heads. These huts can withstand the passage of time, lasting up to 60 years. When it comes to food, the Dorze people predominantly engage in small-scale farming and maintaining livestock, including goats, cows, and chickens. While the Dorze display an impressive level of resourcefulness, one item is absent from their pantries, the ultimate snack, peanut M&Ms. Kuru, how are you? I am fine. So Kuru is the son of the chief. Have you ever seen M&Ms before? No, this is first time. When you look at the package, what kind of flavor do you think it is? I think it's fruit inside. There you go, perfect. Then I'm um, not sure it or? Yeah, yeah, you chew it, chew it. Does it taste like gum? No, it's like a chocolate. Yeah, exactly. And then do you notice anything else inside? Is there a coffee inside? That is actually a peanut. Do you have any peanut allergy? No. Okay, because last time I made this kind of video, they were like, why didn't you ask if they have allergies? Because I'm not in California. I'm in Africa where people are a little bit tougher. Sorry, guys. Overall, you like it? I like it. Very cool. Can we try giving it to someone else? Okay. I went over to I went over to No, it's. She said it's beautiful. Have you ever seen a candy like this? No, it's first time. Okay, you want to try it out? She's <laughs> happy to test it. Okay, okay. Maybe uh, a young man can try it. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. It means yes. Right here, we have our second candy. Sour Patch Kids, strawberry flavored, artificially flavored. Kudu, I have a second candy right here. These are called Sour Patch Kids. So he's opening the package. Have you ever had strawberries? No. I saw even the strawberry fruit in the picture. But never in real life? Never. It's very different from the first one. But this one is more tasty. Is it sour? No. No, what the? Hold on, let me try one of these. <laughs> That's not sour. I just feel like Sour Patch Kids are getting kind of weak. All right, so he's dumping out some more. All right, she's taking the taste. Doesn't even look at it, just goes right for it. She oh, said this one is better. She said they taste some food in the forest. They taste it's like that. But what is it is, they don't know. That sounds dangerous to try random fruit. You know, it's when the monkeys, they eat it. Ah, then you can eat it. Yeah. Hello, he's oh. handing out some more. I like, she popped it like a vitamin. Good. Oh, she's trying now too. They say this is a better, this is a better thing. So in the end, I think a big success. We are actually shooting a different video here all about a cow and the unique ways in which they prepare that cow. But we wanted to take a break to try two candies. And hey, do you enjoy the candies? Yeah. My brother, thank you. You're welcome. Soon, I'll be giving out candy to one of this country's most iconic tribes, the Mercy people, known for their decorative lip plates. But first, the Hummer tribe. Another day, another tribe. Today we have descended further into the Omo Valley here in Ethiopia. The people behind me are part of the Hamer tribe. The Hamer people are a distinct tribe, different from any other in Ethiopia. Most differentiated by their appearance, the women exhibit an exclusive hairstyle consisting of red clay dreadlocks, complemented by an assortment of adornments, such as bracelets, red and black beads, and necklaces. They are a pastoral society, raising cows and goats. They drink raw blood. Just a moment ago, I had some raw kidneys. It was fantastic. I'm not serious. Now their diet consists much more of milk and affordable grains mixed with water into a calorie-dense but bland mash. What they don't have a lot of here is American candy. We have our first food right here, red vines. So here to the side, they are making a soup out of freshly soldered goat. But right here is our first taste tester. Hello. Would you like to try some red vines? Give it a shot. She's a little bit hesitant, a little freaked out. Giving it a taste. 
sweet. It's very good, she said. Does it taste like anything she's had before? Okay, so she's had candy before, yeah. kind of like this. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Our next taste tester is coming here. She's just grabbed one of the red vines, giving it a little bit of a taste, very cautious at first. Good, Nashidu. I like it. She doesn't look like she's making a I like it face. <laughs> she said that one time she eat a mukorni with a tomato sauce. So test it like that. Really? I'm guessing she doesn't have like a ton of points of comparison. She's not going to be like, it's a little bit like a Twizzlers, but more hollow inside. But the macaroni comparison is a bit of a surprise. Did I stop recording? No, I didn't. Sweet. Oh, we have one very short candy volunteer. Try it out. What do you think? I'm going to go to the Good. Good. She said good. She is so incredibly shy. She won't actually say anything, but she signaled that yes. It passed the test. She likes it. Hmm? I'm going to Hello, ma'am. Would you like to try some red vines? She takes a bite, thinking it over. She has a child. Oh, oh no, the baby's getting hooked on sugar early. Oh, the baby doesn't even like it. The baby spit it out. What do you think? She say it tastes like a wheat food, like a bread, like in this morning. Really? Would you like some more? Hey, yeah, take it all. Our next candy, right here, Airheads. They are mini bars with assorted flavors. Blueberry, cherry, and watermelon. Let's go. Let's start here with the Chief. Mr. Chief, can I please offer you an Airhead? So he's working on the plastic. Getting a little bit of help. He rips into it a nice big bite, and he hands it off to someone else so they can try it too. Ah, and so he likes it. All right, we have these two gentlemen right here. Please, take one. So they've taken two different flavors. We have, I think, cherry and watermelon. We're going to get open with his teeth, taking a bite, and he's still working on the packaging. All right, he's tried it. A big bite of the watermelon. Does it remind you of any certain fruit? Uh, he said that only I eat watermelon, but it tastes different. Of course, the irony is that he just ate a watermelon flavored airhead. The only fruit he's ever had is watermelon, and he still cannot pinpoint what type of fruit this is. That's a big fail on the part of the airheads. Another day, another tribe. Today in Ethiopia, we visit the Mercy people. The dwelling place of the Mercy tribe is one of the most secluded in Ethiopia. The appearance of the Mercy women is striking, unlike any other tribe on earth, adorned with large flat clay lid plates, which are seen as a symbol of adulthood and beauty. Here, the women and men both eat a very limited diet. It's basically sorghum, corn, and spinach, and once a year, they have beef. But do you know what they never have? American candy. Our first candy is right here. It's called Bounty. Bounty is well known for having a lot of coconut. Now, I'm not sure folks here have tried coconut before, but we're gonna find out if this is something familiar to them and if they enjoy it. Let's go. Right here we have about 25 men who are enjoying some meat. We just cooked up an entire cow and they are eating that up. Right here is the chief. Mr. Chief, right here I have a special treat for you. Someone speaking Vietnamese on my walkie-talkie. This is my favorite right here. He's gonna use his knife, peel it open. He takes a little bit and he shares it with other members of the tribe. And then going right back to his rib meat. So, my question, chief, how does it taste? Andenyan. It's very tasty, he said. Is that his first time tasting a coconut? It's the first time, he said. Does he like the candy more or does he like the meat more? Leila. Leila, the candy. The candy more. Oh, really? <laughs> All right, I wish I brought more. Thank you, Chief. Ah, boom. Oh, wow. Take a look here, guys. Who needs American candy when you have a whole cow head that you're just cutting into like this? That looks fantastic. Scrumptious. Our next candy is right here. This is Twix. It's not just Twix, it's Twix Extra. This is caramel, it's crunch, it's chocolate all in one. Let's see if they've ever tried anything like it with the ladies. We have two ladies here with the iconic lip plate. Right now it is in, but when they eat, of course, they take it out. Here, give it a shot. Give it a bite to open it. Oh, it's definitely gooey, but it's not any worse than that raw liver I just ate about 20 minutes ago. She gives it a try. Oh, she's keeping the plate in. They both gave it a shot. How does it taste? I'm not looking. I should eat it. They're very nice. Have you ever had, oh, she's going for another bite. That's a good sign. Who doesn't like Twix? What does it taste like? Mm. Oh, I like that it is a Twix Extra and it's almost completely gone. Which one do you like more, this or honey? They prefer to have this. Oh, fantastic. All right, so look, it turns out today, the big winner, Twix, they both love it. I'm having a lot of fun. Let's do one more while we're here. Thank you. 
fish. Right here, we have our final food for today, the original Skittles. Let's see if they love tasting the rainbow. And right here, we have two ladies who would love to try it. Trust me, they told me. As you can see, they don't always have the lip plate in. They've taken it out, and actually, they usually take it out because it's a little bit more comfortable, especially when eating. Here you go. She breaks it open, and she takes a red one. She's gonna give it a try. Now she's gonna try one as well. She said it's candy. Each color is supposed to taste like fruit. She just tried a red one. Does it taste like fruit? Mm. They have a kind of fruit, red in color, but the taste is different, not like this. What kind of fruit have you eaten before? Mm. They don't have fruit here in general. That is wild. That means here people have basically no point of comparison. They've never had a strawberry or a lime or a grape, so they have nothing to compare it to. They just know it's very sweet like candy, and they have had other types of candy, just never this type of candy. That's wild. Ladies, thank you very much. Please enjoy the rainbow, have the Skittles, and share them with everyone. Oh, guys, that is the end of this video. Our second time bringing American candy to Africa and seeing how folks like it. This time in Ethiopia, I gotta say, many of the tribes folks were very shy. Sometimes people perceive it so much as a gift, they don't wanna say anything bad if they don't like it. But in general, the last tribe here with the Mercy, big reactions, they seem to enjoy it a lot. And it's fascinating when people try something and they have no point of comparison. It's like when I'm trying to eat a freaking raw cow stomach like I did in this video, how do I explain that to you guys? It's not easy. The main point of this video is just to show different cultures, different people, and different points of view. So I hope you enjoy it seeing it as much as I enjoyed seeing people here live in person, trying these new things for the first time. I come here and I'm so open to every new experience I get to have in this country and with these tribes. And then it's my little chance to give back. The only difference is they keep offering me things like raw blood and I offered them candy. You know what, that doesn't seem fair, does it? Anyways, that is it for this one. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Oh, peace. Okay, now I was gonna say I'm gonna eat the rest of the candy, but no. I'll give them the rest of the candy. These videos are always tough. I know you guys are gonna complain. Oh, you shouldn't get them addicted to candy. You shouldn't give them this, but should I not? Should I not give them food? Should I give them food? Nobody will ever be happy. I'm leaving. I'm walking backwards because I sweat through my butt. Elevate your style with our brand new clothing collection. Rock out in our threads, feel the thrill of culinary adventures, and celebrate with us in style. Head on over to beffers.shop today.